Hey Trenton, Jason here from Thunder Underground, and I think today's a good day to talk about Clutch. Any day is a good day to talk about Clutch. Why is that? Because they are one of the world's greatest rock and roll bands. That's right. I, I was going to say one of our favorite bands, but really above that is they're one of the world's greatest rock and roll bands. Yeah. It doesn't matter a personal opinion, that's just a fact. That's right. So. Well, what we're specifically going to talk about is they have recently released a couple new singles from the Weathermaker Vault series. They are releasing covers just one at a time, basically. And so far, they've got two out. Yeah, I think they, they had some time off and they were just kind of messing around and they recorded some songs and they're going to release them this summer just here and there. Yeah. So it's kind of cool because we're less than a year since they put out their most recent album last October. Yeah. And we're already getting some new music. It's awesome. And in typical clutch fashion, they're going to cover a song, but it's not going to be some big hit. It's going to be more of a deep track. Exactly. Even if it's from a band you know and love, yeah. like ZZ Top. Yeah, exactly. Which, uh, well, I, let's get into Evil first because that I came think out first, right? Yeah, it came oh, out first. And I think we're probably going to talk a little bit more about the ZZ Top cover. It's a little bit more interesting to me, the story of it, anyways, or the whatever, anyways. I think. The idea of it's more interesting to me, but I think I think Evil is the better of the two songs. Okay. I mean, at least, I don't know about originally, but I just meant the yeah. Clutch version. Yeah. But it's a little more, of, you know, both the songs are great, don't get me wrong, but this just has a little more of that attitude to it, that, yeah. you know, when the Neil Fallon thing. Well, yeah, it would have been a because Willie yeah. Dixon was like the early 50s, right? Yeah, yeah, he, he died when I was a sparkle in my daddy's eyes, probably. Okay. But, you know, um, I'm sure Cactus made it a little more famous. Uh, anyways, so they did this song, and it's your, you can definitely tell it was a, an old blues song when you hear it. Yeah, you know? without a doubt. Mm -hmm. And it really accentuates the fact that Clutch is one of the best bands in the world because <laughs> yeah, you can't, it's hard to describe Clutch as the exact type of rock or hard rock that they are, which is a great thing. and. Because there's so many facets of so many different things in their music, blues being one of them, but blues is never, for the most part, at the forefront of their music. Yeah. There's been some songs here and there that sound bluesy, yeah. but you know when you hear them cover a song like this, and you get vocally that guitar line, the guitar solo, everything about it is just dripping with blues, and it sounds it doesn't sound like a put on. It sounds like these guys are playing the blues. Yeah, yeah, totally dripping with blues. That sounds like. Uh, an album title from some like guy that wants to rip off Steve Ray Vaughan and but never gets past the local level. That sounds like something he like named his album. I know so, you're talking about. And you know what? It, funny thing, I wasn't even thinking about that until about halfway through the goddamn thought. You're like, don't and say the name. It, it manifested it. itself any fucking way. But we're not going to say that. Is this a Johnny Lang album? No, no, no. He made no. it past that level. Yeah, John Lang made it past that level, like it or not. But anyways, uh, we're getting off track here, as we do a lot of times at the Thunder Underground. Great track, Evil. Awesome yeah. track. I I kind of go the different way of you. I like Precious and Grace better. But Evil, is it's awesome. It jams. They go off on the solo, guitar solo, all that kind of stuff. Right. And it's clutch. You can't go wrong. Exactly. Well, Precious and Grace is a track from ZZ Top's album, Trace Hombres. Yes. And it, it's a great clutch song because it, I, I like the fact that it, you know, the, the last clutch album, Book of Bad Decisions, has a lot of grooviness and a lot of different facets going on, but there yeah. wasn't this style of clutch on there, so it's cool that, you know, they yeah. came out with this pretty quickly after that. This kind of throws back to some older clutch to me. And in, it also yeah. kind of shows a major influence that, you know, you kind of point out when you're hearing it vocally. Yeah, well, you know, and you never think about it. And we, you know, we, we're old. We've listened to ZZ Top, you know, ad nauseum throughout our, since we were teenagers here and there. Not one of our most favorite bands, but definitely yeah, some of them were yeah. we're familiar with Beyond Eliminator or, you know, Afterburner or whatever the fuck the 80s shit was. But, um, hey, what's ZZ Top's greatest song? Party on the Patio. Okay. Fuck you, and 
Fuck, fuck that song. That's for me and Thrasher. Right? And fuck Pearl Necklace. Okay, I love ZZ Top, but those two <laughs> songs, I've always, I'm like, well, I'm going to just change the station. So, <laughs> that's what I think. I love them, I don't care. Uh, anyways, next. Back to what you were saying. Yes, whatever. Um, the thing is, is you listen to, <laughs> first off, yeah, uh, let me let me back up. First off, I love that they pick covers, not, you know, obscure songs. Not obvious covers, it, like you said, it might be a big band, but they don't do the single or whatever, the big song or whatever. You know, I love that, so that's cool. I agree with you on that. And second, it, it, you know, I'm listening to this. I'm listening to this song, and it's like this is almost just like a clutch song. And so we stopped and said, so "Let's go listen to the ZD Top version," and it's just it's insane because. It is not almost like a clutch song. You you know you, you don't you don't make that connection right off the bat, but you listen to this the original version of Precious and Grace, and it's just wow. This is this is these are the influencers. This is where they get it, and you never thought about it before. But Neil Fallon really draws from the you know the 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 well of Billy Gibbons. Yeah. Um. You know, vocally, and then you're like, yeah. That, that does kind of get that. You know? click right he's not eighth of nothing. No, don't you know? There's no, there's no just copying. You just you hear the influence. It's it's interesting. It's interesting to to go through these lines and piece everything together. Yeah, and I mean you hear it in the the guitar as well from Tim Salt. You know? Yes. It, yeah. It's like oh wow. Who knows okay. if Billy Gibbons was a huge influence on him? But yeah, it sounds like it. Yeah, it's like, it, you know when we listen to the Elephant Riders when we were. You know, in our early twenties, we didn't know, but wow, this is probably like the Bible of ZZ Top or something. Yeah, you never know. Yeah, exactly. Well, these are two great songs. I'm looking forward to seeing what they've got coming because they make it sound. There's going to be a few of these. Yeah. You know, we're we're still just in mid July, so maybe here in the next month or two, we'll get a couple more songs. It'll be great. I can't wait. What do you hope they cover? Um, I'm hoping maybe for I don't know. Uh, Come on, Eileen. That's you know, I was hoping for runners or whatever the fuck they're called. Hi by Jimmy Chicken Shack. Ah, uh, nice, Jimmy nice, nice, nice. You know, there's probably a point in time where they, those two bands, Clutch and Jimmy Chicken Shack, played festivals together or something like radio festivals. In 1996 in Jacksonville, Florida, I bet it happened. And you got specific. If you're a Clutch diehard out there and you know if they played with Jimmy's Chicken Shack. Or if they've ever covered "Come On Eileen," please drop us a line. Let us know. Here's here's something. Let's say let's say they were to do an Iron Maiden song. What Iron Maiden song would you want them to do? I don't I know why I thought of that, but that's kind of random. Yeah. I, know. Um, I I would say something from the first from the Paul Diano area. Area. I can't even speak today. Paul Diano era. Era. You can do it, Trent. Yeah. Uh, Those first two albums. Have more of a stripped down raw sound that clubs could really embrace more than if they did something huge and epic like how it did a name or something. Yeah, yeah, you know, that. so maybe you know, killers, something off yeah. I mean, I don't know. What about you? Is there anything that comes to mind? Wrath Child would be cool. Uh I don't know Iron Maiden so much. I bet they could do a mean version of the Simpsons theme. Well yeah, you know, he did that with Power Glove and it was awesome. Oh, that's right. That's right. Yeah, there. Yeah, there's another tangent. Well, I, yeah, I know. I mean, <laughs> we better just press stop now. All right, this will be the longest fucking YouTube video we ever did. No, we've done some pretty long ones. Well, those are podcasts, but you know what I'm saying. It's not going to be today. Yeah, speaking of podcasts, if you have not listened to our podcast, there's links below. BeatThunderUnderground.com. You can find all our socials there. Speaking of Clutch, Tim Salt from Clutch was on this podcast last right. October. Great dude. Yeah, that was very cool. We've also had on guys from Megadust, Seven Dust, who have Shine Down, Thin Lizzy. We recently had on Vivian Campbell of Def Leppard and Last in Line. That's right. We've had on Kevin Martin from Tannabox. Kind of a wide range of all different styles of rock you can find. Right below here, click subscribe so you don't miss any of these videos. Find us on SoundCloud and iTunes and everywhere else you can find podcasts. All right, we'll see you next time.